With global water supplies dwindling at an alarming rate, Planet 100 offers up a timely guide on everything you need to know about water desalination. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, I'm Sarah Backhouse. On today's special episode, water desalination, which I know sounds about as sexy as scurvy, but might just prove essential for our survival. Why are we even talking about water desalination? Well, because quite frankly, we're on the brink of a global water crisis. As the global population rises, so does the demand for water, which puts pressure on the planet's finite supply. Add to the scarcity the fact that we're polluting what little we have left, and you can see why desalination is becoming an important issue. So what is it? Well, water desalination is a process that removes salt and other minerals to create fresh, drinkable water. Used on many seagoing ships and submarines, interest is now focused on developing cost-effective ways of providing fresh water for human use in regions where the availability of fresh water is or becoming limited. How do you do it? While technological advances to improve water desalination are occurring every day, it remains an expensive and energy intensive process. The main method of desalination is called multi-stage flash distillation, which uses heat to evaporate water, leaving the salt behind. This accounted for 84% of all desalination in 2004. The other way is reverse osmosis desalination, which pumps water through filtration membranes. Desalination is gaining ground amongst water-strapped nations. Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, the United States, China and Israel are the top five desalination markets. Even London has flipped the switch on a desalination plant on the Thames to provide water to its citizens as supplies grow short. Australia has desalination plants in several areas and has been making progress on reducing their environmental footprint by running them on renewable energy. Desalination is only possible for communities with the right mix of proximity to seawater and energy. For those who don't fit that bill, there are alternatives. Grey water recycling is ideal for some communities to treat and reuse wastewater for irrigation. Stormwater harvesting and rainwater capture and storage are also possibilities and are currently being practiced, with some ensuing controversy, in places like Colorado. And that's our guide to water desalination. Do you think you'll be drinking desalinized water in your lifetime? Weigh in by leaving a comment at the Planet Green YouTube page. And we'll see you next week for more Planet 100.